Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna do a brief overview of general coupling selection and then take a closer look at metallic couplings. And here to help us out is someone who's been on the show before, Dave Felt from Valdor Dodge Hi, ABB. Dave, welcome back. It's oh, always good to have you, you here, Great man. Great to be back. I know we have got a lot of stuff on the table here, and I recognize some of this stuff that we have in front of us. What do we got going on today? Yeah, what we have in front of us are the most common styles of both elastomeric and metallic couplings. I know these guys over here. I don't know these guys over here, so why don't you take us through everything? Well, Tom, we covered the Dodge Paraflex tire style coupling mm -hmm. on our last video, and we talked about the Dodge Deflex sleeve style coupling in another MI How To video as well both of which are elastomeric style coupling. Right, and elastomeric couplings, if I remember right, use for lower torque applications. They have excellent misalignment capabilities, and if I remember correctly, no required lubrication. Am I right? Spot on, Tom, making them maintenance free. Okay, good. Now, before we get started though, PPE, because we do that, you know, whatever the job calls for, you have yours on. Make sure you wear your proper protective equipment for every job. Keep yourself safe. All right, Dave, it's all you, buddy. It all goes back to the two primary functions of a coupling. That is to connect the two shafts of either the same or different sizes and transmitting rotary power or torque from the driver to the driven shaft. At a certain point, elastomeric couplings can become bore or torque limited. It may become necessary to look at a metallic style coupling. Okay, because we talked about uh, not so strong as a metallic coupling. So these will essentially handle more torque, little torque, more torque over here. Uh, yes, Tom. Metallic couplings utilize metallic components to transmit torque in a relatively smaller size, also known as torque density. This allows for higher speed capabilities along with excellent balance characteristics. Now, uh, how do we know how to select a metallic coupling? You know, where do we start? Well, First, there's two styles of metallic couplings, those that require lubrication and those that do not. The grid, the gear, chain style couplings are all examples of styles that need lubrication, while a disc style or a rigid coupling are examples of styles that do not need lubrication. All right. Next, just as we did with the elastomeric couplings, we'll need to review application specific factors such as misalignment, speed, balance, and shaft spacing. All right, well, uh, let's start with misalignment first. Over time, foundations settle, vibration occurs, and couplings need to accommodate angular, parallel, and axial misalignment. Okay, how do we account for misalignment in a coupling that is made entirely of metal, though? That's, that sounds difficult. Tom, here is the Dodge grid line. The okay. Dodge grid line utilizes a flexible grid element that connects with a series of teeth machined into the shaft hubs. Oh, okay. This flexible element allows the grid line to offer excellent misalignment capabilities similar to an elastomeric coupling. Because of its metallic design, the grid line has higher torque ratings and bore capacities, essentially giving the customer the best of both worlds. Yeah, you know, I can feel this right here. Not only is it hooked on there, but it's just a little bit flexible. But, you know, you have to worry about the shaft staying aligned, so I, I like the way this feels right here. Now, what types of applications and industries would they be most commonly used for something like this? Pumps, fans, and conveyors are the common applications. These can be found in power generation, pulp and paper, mining, aggregate and cement, and the metals industry. These industries all have large amounts of fans, conveyors, pumps, and therefore, couplings. Okay, since you mentioned pumps, what about applications such as pumping or, or where the shafts can be further apart from each other? Well, pumping applications can have shafts farther apart from each other, as you mentioned, which will require a spacer style coupling. Let's next take a look at the Dodge Disc coupling. This is designed to meet the API 610 requirements. And, and this, has got, this is the spacer coupling type right here. Correct. In order to increase reliability and prevent unexpected downtime, the American Petroleum Institute developed the API 610 specification for pumping applications. It's used in the chemical, oil, and gas industries. One of the key requirements to the API 610 is that the coupling must be of spacer design. That has the removable center section, right. which enables you to remove it without disturbing the connected equipment. Okay, but why would the API require that a spacer style coupling be designed into the pumping applications? Spacer couplings serve the same primary function as a standard coupling, which is connect the two shafts and transmit the torque. We accommodate for larger BSEs or between shaft end dimensions by using that spacer design. And it works functionally very well. In pumping applications, it is very time consuming to align the motor shaft with the input shaft of the pump. When a pump requires maintenance, a spacer design allows easy access to the inboard side of the pump. 
Most importantly, all of this can be accomplished without having to realign the pump or the motor, and the coupling center assembly can be reinstalled, thus increasing customers' productivity and minimizing downtime. Yeah, because you can drop that right out. The shafts stay aligned much easier to, to put it back together. Now, Dave, what about maintenance, though, with metallic couplings? And also, I know balance has got to be important. That's key. Well, absolutely. Uh, coupling unbalance is transferred to the connected equipment in the form of vibration. A coupling with high level of balance is required. In order to meet that API 610 requirements, the Dodge Disc coupling is manufactured to meet AGMA Class 9 balance standards. With reduced vibration, we increase the life of the bearings, the seals, and really all the other components in your pump or motor. And what about maintenance? Well, for lubricated metallic couplings, you'll need to make sure you use the type of lubrication recommended by the manufacturer and follow the recommended lubrication intervals. Also, I know there are a lot of users out there that are familiar with bearings, but please remember that coupling grease is not the same as bearing grease. For non-lubricated metallic couplings, all that is required is a visual inspection of the couplings for wear. All right, Dave, I'm gonna see if I've got all of this right now. Just going over just a few pieces of information that we talked about, torque and bore size requirements can help us decide between the elastomeric and metallic style couplings. Uh, reviewing factors such as misalignment, vibration, shaft spacing requirements, that can help us determine a specific type of coupling that I might need that's also best suited for the application. And then metallic couplings, that's going to offer excellent torque density, good inherent balance qualities, and also higher speed versus the elastomeric. You hit the nail on the head, Tom. That's because you give good information, Dave. Thank you so much. Dave Felt with Baldor Dodge ABB. Always great to have him on the program. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Hopefully this helped you with your practical application. Don't forget, proper PPE, whatever it calls for on the job, it's always always smarter to be safer. And uh, it's always smarter to look at the other MI how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Hey, thanks for watching this one today.